prosthetist is a person who replaces a body part that's missing. Uh, if you lose a leg or you lose an arm, uh, a prosthetist is the person who makes, fabricates, and fits that part that's missing back so that you can walk or use your hand again. We make artificial arms, we make artificial legs, we've made ears before, partial nose, uh, those aren't so frequent anymore, but we do do uh, fingers all the way through full legs, hip, hips, all external prostheses. One of the things that we do here is in this industry is to help people regain normalcy in their life. Being able to walk again, being able to grab something with their hand. Our first prosthetic foot ever recorded in human history was from the time in Egypt they found a mummy that had an artificial toe. We saw the hydraulic unit that was brought out of World War II in the mid-50s. The modular components came out in the latter 60s and really took off in the 70s and just exploded in the 80s. After that, we had another invention, carbon fiber. So you're able to bend it, and then it, it flexes and returns that energy back and helps the amputee propel the leg forward. Then in the 90s, silicones. Now that we have feet that were more functional, we had sockets that were more comfortable. All of those kind of built up to a new age of, um, of bionics. People have accidents or injuries and people about, have illnesses that sometimes they lose a limb due to th those incidents. And one of the things we do is we have specialty prosthesis along with the regular daily prosthesis that will allow them to do their daily functions and walk, but also then they can put on a specialty prosthesis and go swimming, or they can put on a, a, the running prosthesis and, and, and go for a jog or, or run competitively. And there's a hand out there called the eye limb. Uh, it has different grips. Be able to pinch a card, grab a CD from the side, hold on to a handle or a rail, a cell phone, a ball, it'll conform to pretty much what our hand conforms to. Last year it was actually rated in Time Magazine as one of the top 10 inventions in the world. The science behind what we do, we deal with uh, the body, the anatomy, the physiology. Um, you have to know where nerves and muscles are. You have to know how much promoter you're going to put in your liquid resin. You have to know what temperature you need your plastic to be in order for it to become malleable enough to, to thermoform around you, and you, how much vacuum you have. And this is a science that we have every day in our lives that is just incorporated here that you need to be a part of. We do castings. We do fabricating here in the Strongsville office. We do fittings, follow-up care adjustments to the prosthesis that are needed. We take care of about 85% of all that is needed for the, for the amputee here outside of the componentry. Part of my job is to be very involved from the beginning all the way through the end of the process of making a, a prosthetic limb. Uh, the use of CAD is computer-aided design in which I can manufacture a socket using measurements and numbers. In the CAD, I have a 360 degree view along with inside and uh, upside down. I can turn the mold any way I want, look at it as if I've got a physical model in my hand. Uh, I, I can carve a little or sand a little away just with, with the wave of a mouse. But there's still an element of art in this and it's still hands-on where we will actually get into a plaster mold and hand carve it and it's really a uh, craft. You have to have good hand-eye coordination for sanding and grinding and manufacturing. We have covers that we have to hand shape that are blocks of foam that get shaped into what a leg looks like. Skins that we can slide over and it gives it a skin texture to it. Well, if you think of the body as a machine and an organism that I mean, you have your science which is your anatomy your physiology and your technology with your microprocessor feet microprocessor knees uh, you have to be on the forefront for these newer technologies that that as try to as assimilate normal human functions using robotics I think that this is a great career for, for people who are thinking about biotech or or engineering uh, any kind of bioengineering 
Ohio is one of the forefront leaders in prosthetics. It has been for years and it will continue for years to come. The body is probably one of the greatest machines ever designed and you know be able to be work this closely with it. It's it's just a, a great great feel.